articles has you already learned what is articles two types of articles that is definite and indefinite answer the questions set on it now you might be wondering what is this events what is the grammar all about when i say language functions you might be wondering what is this language functions all about so you need to prescribe the word limit while answering each and every questions Hello everyone I'm Babita Tamaya lecturer department of english vidyashram pre university college mysuru english language plays an essential role in our lives as it helps in communication it is the main language for studying many subjects all over the world it is not only the spoken language it is also the official language in many countries and in english the most commonly used letter is e if you don't know the most commonly letter used here in english is letter e so let's have a look at the agenda for the day in my today session i'll be discussing about the syllabus topics to be known and the question paper pattern as prescribed by the pu board firstly i'll be discussing about the syllabus what is the syllabi all about so for your first puc you'll be having two texts reflection as well as articulation these are the two books you are going to refer so for reflection the number of hours according to the board it's 60 hours so it is the main textbook it is a literature textbook you are referring that is the reflection and articulation is the textbook for the grammar part and the number of hours prescribed is 60 hours so put together the number of hours prescribed is 120 hours so what are you going to study in your reflection textbook so in this textbook you have 13 chapters out of 13 chapters you have six prose and one play let's see the chapters here the first chapter is the gentleman of the jungle next is the school boy around a medicinal creeper or a manushian money madness babar ali if i was a tree watchman of the lake here watchman of the lake is a play as i told you will be having one play and the play is here the watchman of the lake the next is the farmer's wife frederick douglas an old woman two gentlemen of verona i think many of the students have studied this chapter that is in your 10th or 8th and the same thing has repeated in your first puc syllabus also and the last one is do not ask of me my love so these are the chapters you will be studying in your first puc has it told you have six poem six prose and one play put together it's 13 chapters and if you question me or if you have a doubt saying that ma'am do we have to study all the 13 chapters if you ask me my answer would be yes if you are aiming to get a very good marks and a good percentage so you need to be thorough with all the 13 chapters what happens most of the time in the sense you will get a very good marks in your course subject but when it comes to the language it might goes down so when you get a less marks in english or in the language what happens your percentage also decreases it also goes down so give the equal importance like the course subject for languages also these are the chapters you'll be studying from your literature that is from the textbook reflection now let's see what are the grammar part you're going to learn here and the grammar's what you learn here that is from the articulation textbook it is articles has you already learned what is articles two types of articles that is definite and indefinite definite article is the and the indefinite article is a and an you have already studied here studied this and the next one is preposition tenses when it comes to tenses under this tenses as you all know there are three tenses that is present past and future so under these tenses there are four subdivisions so that you are going to learn here and the next one is subject verb agreement and word order correction of forms correction of sentences reading comprehension frequent skill letter writing and language functions when i speak about the comprehension here so here in this question it is a passage you need to understand the passage and then 
you need to answer this set of questions. When I say about the comprehension, this comprehension is for 10 marks. It's for 10 marks. So all the 10 questions should be answered in a sequence. When it comes to the letter writing, already you have learned about the letter writing and even this question is for 5 marks. So but the format, there are little bit changes in the format. I will teach you how to write a letter. And the next one is language functions. When I say language functions, you might be wondering what is this language functions all about. So I'll give you an example. If I say you're looking stun, you're looking beautiful, you're looking gorgeous. So this is the language function. When I say about looking beautiful or gorgeous, it means to say that I'm giving a compliment. It's a compliment. It is nothing but the language function. So if you have done a mistake, what do you do? You just go and apologize. So these are the few kinds of expressions where you have to match with your functions. This is what about language functions. And here, correction of sentences. Correction of sentences is nothing but a sentence will be given. So in that sentence, you need to identify the error here so that the sentence will be corrected. That is about the grammar part here. Moving to the next one, it is the question paper pattern has prescribed by the PU board. Before I move on to the question paper pattern, I have few instructions for you. Please look at the instruction here. The first one is follow the prescribed limit while answering the questions. So you need to prescribe the word limit while answering each and every questions. The next one is write the correct question number. This is very important because in English from the question number one till the last question, it is a continuous question. Nowhere in the no means the question number will be changed. It is the continuation till the end. So you should be very cautious with this. That is the question number as it appears on the question paper. And the next one is one mark questions attempted more than once. Many have the habit of attending the one mark questions in the beginning as well as at the end. So if you do so, it will be awarded zero. No marks will be given if you attempt it twice or thrice. It will be marked zero. And the third one, for multiple choice questions, choose the correct answer and rewrite it. So if there is a multiple choice question, no need of writing all the three answers and then writing the correct answers. It's not necessary. Choose the correct answer, then rewrite it. These are the few things which I wanted to say before I move on to the question paper pattern. So now let's see how the question paper pattern is prescribed by the PU board. So answer the following in a word, a phrase or a sentence. So it's from question number 1 to 12. So altogether how many chapters you have? As I told, you have 13 chapters. Out of that 13 chapters, you'll be having 12 questions from 12 chapters. So each question carries one mark. How many marks it carries? One mark each question carries. So here, you might be thinking whether the questions will be given according to the chapter wise or what? Yes, your questions will be according to the chapter wise, like chapter 1, 2, 3, like that is goes on till the question number 12. But from one chapter, you'll be not having any one mark question because it is only 12 questions asked here. So from 12 chapters, you'll be having one question each for one one mark. Moving on to the next one. Answer any eight. You need to be very clear here. Answer any eight of the following question. Choosing at least two from poetry in a paragraph. So how many questions you're answering? You're answering eight questions. Out of that eight questions, two questions should be from poetry. So two questions, it's mandatory to attend from po. So each question carries four marks. So you're answering for eight questions. So it is up to 32 marks. And the question number, it's like 
13 to 22 as i told it is the continuous number here from 1 to 12 it's one mark question from 13 to 22 it is the four marks question and the next one is answer any one of the following in about 200 words when i speak here it is all about the six marks question it is about the six marks question you'll be given three questions out of the three you need to opt any one and you have to answer for six marks that is about 200 words so when i come to the six marks question how are you going to present your paper how the presentation should be it should be in such in this way that is first you need to write the word introduction introduction will be given for the chapter or the poem first you'll write the introduction then you'll come to the main question and the main answer will be divided into two paragraphs again you'll write the word conclusion and give the conclusion for the answer once you're done with the conclusion and the last thing is critical analysis critical analysis it means to say that what is your opinion regarding the poem or the prose? What did you learn from it? That is what the critical analysis. So this is the way to attend or present your paper for six marks. Only for six marks. Why? Because you're answering only one question and this is how you need to write. So this is all about the literature. From literature, you will be attending for 50 marks. It's very easy for you to score marks in language because 50 marks from the literature and the remaining 50 will be from your grammar part. So here, how is the pattern for the 50 marks? One mark, 12 questions you have. Four marks, eight questions, and six marks, one question. Like other subjects, you don't have two marks or three marks questions here. It is only one, four, and six. This is all about the literature part. Moving on to the next, that is the grammar part. What are the grammars is there in the PU board? So first one is unseen passage. Unseen passage is nothing but comprehension. And the question number, it is from 24 to 23. So from 24 to 33, you have 10 questions. And all the 10 questions should be written in a sequence. Like 24, 25, 26, like that till 33. You cannot divide the answers there. Writing the first five questions and the remaining five questions in the last leaf. It goes wrong because all the 10 questions should be one below the other in a sequence in one page itself. Don't write here and there. If you write so, it will be marked zero. It's not the correct way of writing. It will be marked zero. And when you answer this question, if you think that you are attending the second question, and in that paragraph, the answer might be in the third line. So what do you do? You need to start the answer from the third line itself. But most of the time, what the students do, if they get confused, they start writing the answer from the first line till the third line. But no mark, you won't fetch any marks there. No marks will be given for such answers. You need to write the answer as per the question. Other than that, if you start writing from the beginning, your answer will be wrong and you won't get any marks there. And the next is articles and preposition. It is for, it is question number 32. It is for four marks here. So your articles and preposition are not given separately. It's a small paragraph or small sentence where both articles and preposition are given and the answers will be given in the brackets. You just need to read the sentence correctly and choose the correct answer and you have to fill the blank. So there are four blanks. Each blank carry four marks. Altogether, it's for four marks. Next, verb. And it is question number 35. It is also the same thing. Sentence is given and the words will be given in a bracket. You need to read the sentence and fill the blank. You have four blanks and each blank carries one mark. And the next one is subject verb agreement. It is question number 36. 
it's a small sentence again it's like a small paragraph there are three blanks each blank carries one mark and next is correction of sentences correction of sentences is nothing but identifying the errors there will be error in the sentence you need to identify the error and then rewrite the sentence so there will be two questions each question carries one mark so put together it is two marks the next one is rewrite as directed so there are six questions here what does this rewrite as directed so here what happens in the sense you'll be having the homophones or the homonyms do forms question tags all such kinds of questions here so it is in this uh, main you'll be having six questions based on all these so each question carries one mark so in the brackets will be given to frame a question for the underlined word to get as a answer or you need to change the sentence to the do form or add a question tag this is what is there in this main so you need to just read the questions properly and then answer so you have six questions and each question carries one mark and the next one is refer to the following list of events and answer the questions set on it now you might be wondering what is this events what is the grammar all about so here a small table will be given it might be based on the tv channels or about the newspapers or about the railway station so on so the table will be given and when the bus arrives or the train arrives when it departs to for which place it goes and reach this kind of a table will be given based on that table there will be four questions four questions will be given based on the table so you need to read the question and look at the table and then answer so each question carries one mark that is about the events and the next one is letter writing here you have already learned right how to write a letter to your principal that is for your to take collect your tc or to collect your marks card this in the sense how to write a letter to get your transfer certificate or your study certificate what you have already done you are doing it right now no you have finished your 10th you are coming to your pu so all these letters you need to be knowing to write the but there are little bit changes when it comes to the letter writing because the format is changed so you need to follow the present format when you come to the pu here so this question carries five mark you don't have any choice here it is you have to attend its mandatory next one is match the expression under column a with your corresponding language functions so here it is like a match the following you have five questions each question carries one mark it is a match the following table so here you have to match the expression the expressions will be given based on the expression you should match the language function i have told you before in that slide once again i'll tell you what is all about it means if i say you're looking pretty so you're looking pretty is the expression so what will be your language function it is to say that i'm complimenting it is a complimentation the language function here here is complimenting please can i get a pen you're requesting it's a request for your friend or you're asking your friend you're requesting your friend for a pencil this is what about language function and then and then it is the dialogue writing so it is for four marks what is this dialogue writing here in this dialogue writing the dialogue the conversation will be given and the blanks will be given you will be having four blanks and based on the conversation you need to fill the blanks so in the brackets the hint will be given you need to read that also and fill the blanks that is all about dialogue writing here and the next one is dialogue writing don't get confused with complete the dialogue and dialogue writing complete the dialogue dialogues will be given 
and based on that dialogue you need to fill the blanks when it comes to dialogue writing here you need to create the dialogue here the dialogues is already given but you'll just fill the blanks by reading it here no dialogues will be given you have to create a dialogue with the question based on so two person will be talking whether he is a new to the town where he doesn't know the way to go and reach to a railway station or a bus stop so he might come and ask your help this is how the dialogue writing starts here so you need to start you have to, you should be having a creative thinking and the creative way how you can create the dialogues and you can write it so you need to write at least four dialogues for each person so it carries three marks how many marks it carries three marks so this is about the grammar part has i told 50 marks for literature 50 marks for grammar so it's very easy in english to score marks because if you're thorough with few chapters where you're not able to score good marks then you have one more option that is about the grammar so if you're very thorough if you're perfect in the grammar easily you can score 50 marks because most of the questions what happens here in the sense the answers are already there in the brackets the only the thing is that you need to read the complete sentence understand and then you need to fill the blanks so i don't think so it's so difficult for you to score 50 on 50 in grammar part this is all about the question paper pattern has prescribed by the pu board thank you